I never leave like he wanted. I was mindful of what he taught me. So now I beg and plead, I'm on my bending knees. Cause Father, you rescue me. Cause I've got the scars to show. I barely made it in long life's road. And when my life got dark, he was the only spark. The light at the end of the road. Now, welcome, welcome, welcome to Transfer Business and News with ordained Crown Prince of Ghana and Apoko Hitfield. It's another lovely Wednesday morning, 27th September 2023, our year of power, our year of grace, and our year of abundance as Africans. How are you doing, my brothers and sisters across Africa? Now, hashtag fix the country, hashtag occupy Julobi house. My brothers who went there, I send you more power. We will fix the country as the youth of Ghana. We have seen where our fathers went wrong. And we are doing that by uniting the continent. Knowing that your brother beside you is your brother. When we start giving respect to one another, nobody can come from anywhere and come and tell us bull crap. So, welcome to Transfer Business and News. And today, the topic of the show, as you see pinned, is reparations, right? Let's talk about reparations today. And um, President Ekufuado spoke about it at the UN General Assembly that was held recently. I think it's still ongoing, right? Yeah. And um, President Ekufuado spoke about reparations. But to the ordained Crown Prince of Ghana, I'm going to have my own definition of reparations. And we will talk about that later on in the show so hashtag fix the country hashtag occupy julobi house happened and my brothers my my people like me right they were venting their grievances unfortunately i told you guys i will i was going on a retreat because of a Saturday first birthday, I wanted to be with the, my, my father near a river meditating, right? I wanted to, to download more things from the man himself, right? So, now that we know ourselves as black people, we are coming for whatever belongs to Africa a day at a time. This is nature. Nature is cleaning itself of the atrocities done to itself because black people are god and goddesses of earth and whether you want or don't want to admit it nature will teach you science will teach you we we share dna with plants right the neuromelanin makes the black man and black woman so you know you nature will teach you who who is meant to be here so now that you've made nature hate it himself or herself so much now there is a reverse, right? In the economics, they call something the law of diminishing returns, right? That everything that goes up will eventually come down. And now Africa has gained its own consciousness to the extent that it is going to move together with nature to make abundance for its people. Because 500 years plus of the same person doing this to us we know that we need to remove all of the iron bases if we will build a united Africa. Because when we left them here, when Osadifu Dr. Kwame Nkrumah thought, okay, these people, let us leave them here and let me continue building Africa. When he was on, on tour around Africa, they were destabilizing him. And now the CIA has admitted they were part. Look at Patrice Lumumba. When did they return his tooth? Not more than 10 years ago. So if these people, when we keep them in our land for 500 years plus, they have shown us year in, year out what they will do to us here if they are in our midst. So we are removing all their embassies, especially the embassies of countries that sat in 1845 to divide us when we were in our land basking in our grace power and abundance when we knew that this is an illusion 
So we lived a day at a time. We made sure we made systems that made everybody rich. We didn't implement selfish systems like capitalism in societies. We had enough and we, we never needed to divide the things amongst ourselves to show our worth. Now, to me, Obonkumen Kuman and Anna Chibedi Akupoku, the ordained crown prince of Ghana, wealth to me is the positive impact I will leave on society before I leave this earth. To me, wealth is making sure the education I had as a child, which teaches nothing, will be changed to meet the basic necessity of the Ghanaian now. So that in the next 20 years, Africa will be building its own aeroplanes. Africa will be building so much machinery. We as the God and Goddesses, we are now, you don't need to do it. You need to download it from the cosmos. It's easy. Raise your vibration. Raise your vibration. Start meditating. Be with yourself for 15 minutes. Your mind may want to wander, but try and remember you are here to meditate. It is difficult, but practice will make you perfect. Now, it will get to a time your spirit will take over your flesh. Because now, you know the spirit is leading you to your dreams. The spirit is leading you to your goals. So, when people say no to your faces, you know no means there is a bigger door opening somewhere. Because we, we have seen doors closed in our face. Because we wanted to do something different with Africa. Of course, so many doors are being closed in my face now. But as the ordained crown prince of Ghana, I would rather not believe in this mediocrity and help my brothers make systems to empower one another going forward. Africa is the richest in the world. In human resources. It is the humans that make living. Nobody should come and tell you the number on your computer screen is your wealth or wealth. Your brothers. The number of people in Africa is wealth. Because you can't talk about existence without human beings. The natural resources we find in our lands is wealth. So why are we fighting over papers? Why have we implemented systems like capitalism to divide? That system is for thieves. We have enough. I said a gram of Californium is $27 million. A gram of Californium. And we have it in abundance around Africa. We have the human resource to make sure everybody is working eight hours a day. We have 24 hours in a day. In Pan-Africanism, or the system we will implement in Africa. Now, somebody may ask, what is the Pan-African system? Now, this is a system the black man has been using for the last 800,000 years. But then you see, when you get hold of this system and you implement it in your country and society, they will come and bomb democracy into you. So that is the system of Sergeant for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah used. That is why you saw so many industrialization. Our Ghana used to be a hub for education. That is why I lived in the same room that was once lived um, by Robert Mugabe, the former president of Zimbabwe. I once lived in the same room, opposite, right? And the room I lived in was, um, what is the name? Um, former vice president who has passed, um, Alaji Ali Mahama, used to be in that room, right? And the opposite room was where um, Robert Mugabe used, President Robert Mugabe of Blessed Memory used to live in, right? So, uh, growing up when I was in that room, I would always ask myself, why am I here? Why is it that I am facing two great people? But then I didn't know nature and life was preparing me for this. Now, I've been everywhere, and as I said, doors have been shut in our face. Because we chose the Pan-African system. But then, you can't change what is written in the cosmos. So we knew this is, a, this is an illusion. So we started creating from within. We started sowing seeds. 
and we knew that every energy you put there, every love you put there, will bounce back and come back on Africa. So we in the African light of the illuminated, we sit on top of the pyramid of Africa. There is no... Africa is the beginning of creation. So you know it. And I know it. And you know I know it. And I know you know it. You know it. I know it. Now let's talk about reparations and let me continue the show. Now, the president of Guyana, uh, Mr. Ali, Muhammad Ali, yes, Muhammad Irfan Ali, was interviewed and I was watching the interview and I could see how pompous and unapologetic Western media and everybody associated with history that we know is. And now I understand why in the Cape Coast Castle and the Elmina Castle, our ancestors were in the sewages to this side, living in it for three months. And yet a church was on top of these sewages that you and I, our dear and the ones lived there, crying for help. But then, they were on top, singing Hail Mary full of grace. So they self-identified. To them, as soon as you say, in the name of Jesus, I forgive the, the blood of Jesus has cleansed me. It is okay to go do another sin or upon another sin upon another sin. But we Africans knew everything is energy. Whatever you put out there will come back to you. So we never stole. Because we had enough. We manifested enough for ourselves. We used to find gold in our backyards. That is how rich the continent is. And we thought, we teaching the cavemen in Europe would rather let them develop their own self. But then in 1845, such barbarians went on, right, to divide us when we taught them everything and claimed everything that we did, destroyed our lands, destroyed our systems, brought our kings, to the market square, flogging him, him naked, to disgrace our way of life. So, reparations to me is not the papers a white man can give me. Neither is it the number on a computer screen he's going to send. Because as I said, we know who we are. And our worth as Africans going forward, it's not papers. So you won't come here again with papers wanting and backing orders to the African. African unity is already upon us. So tell one person, tell the other, that we are crowning Dr. Arikana Chihombori, Queen of Africa. We want her to for the rest of her life, make sure as a mother, because Africa is a woman, and the, and, and the black woman has suffered enough for the last 500 years. They have suffered more than any other race. And we want to honor our mothers. We want to honor our women as the queens they are. Before they became bitches, before they became baby mama sluts and whatever we call them now they used to be our hermet neset waret and the hermet neset waret is who we want them to become again mm. we want to crown dr arikana chihombori queen of africa and we need to stop all the resources leaving our country now the army across Africa should make sure we are renegotiating for every deal with, with Africa that was signed anywhere with Africa. 
Now, as a matter of fact, that will be the reparations. Right? Go away and go and live the rest of your lives. In your caves. Because as a matter of fact, you've told us so many times, go back to Africa. So now we are back to Africa. And we are implementing our own systems according to our own culture and our own way of life. And if you come here back in orders again, we will never forgive any intrusion in Africa anymore. That is why after 2023, I want the immigration around Africa to write all the embassies in, of the United States and the, all of them. We are evicting them from the motherland. Because if we leave them here, they will keep doing what they've done for 500 years plus. We are about to build an Africa that will be remembered for millions of years to come. And it starts with you and I changing our mindset. Now, Marcos Mosa Gavi once said, that a race that doesn't respect itself will automatically forfeit the respect of other races. Now, because we don't respect ourselves as black people, that is why people think they can come and back orders at us. But I would live as the ordained crown prince of Ghana than to live in mediocrity. And I... The ordained crown prince of Ghana's story is written in African folklore already. I've been saying this. But it has two sides of the story. If Europe and the West and NATO, I, I, I want them to choose peace and live our land in peace without any route. But if they still claim Africa or NATO and the West, you see, then I believe in an eye for an eye. Then everything they've done to Africa in the last 500 years we will do similar to them and we will use that as reparations. Because when I look at the systematic things they've put in place, that strains the African economically. Not being able to take care of his family, breaking the African family, in this process, taking our resources, teaching us everything that makes us hate ourselves, and then you come back and say, Africa or you. Then, as I said, as the day Crown Prince of Ghana, I know where to get you, and it's not in this 3D. In just 77 years, the Eiffel Tower won't have a viewer, and I'm promising you that. We have seen the future and we know what it will do to you if you choose the violence route. We don't need to fight. We know where we are. The, we will manipulate the earth. You don't belong here. You will die of melanomia. The sun will know you don't believe. You don't believe us, right? You are nobody in front of the black man. I swear it. It is easy. Very, very easy. Very, very easy. We know who we are. We are cleaning all our rivers. And we won't have a river in Africa named Victoria. I would rather name it Lake Yasan to her. I would rather name it Lake Arikana Chihombori. I would rather name it Lake Nanaba Namua. I would rather name it... Oh... Like Oprah Winfrey. You see what I mean? So, reparations in English is defined as the action of making amends for a wrong one has done by providing payment for other assistance. Okay, by providing payment or other assistance to those who have been wronged. So in English, this is what they, they mean when they talk about reparations, right? But I don't need anything from the West. Maybe except Manchester United. The only thing that is holding... The last thing I love about the West is Manchester United. 
And if not for Manchester United, I would have been done with them. I swear it. <laughs> it's easy. We possess the power of the Sikegua Kofi. We possess our Confanoche's power. All the power in Africa, we are... That is why we are rising. You see? That is why, even though they do so many things to us, our, our numbers keep increasing. Now, when they talk about depopulation, what do you think they mean? When they talk about depopulation, do you think depopulation means they are going to depopulate who? Themselves? No, Africans. So the medicines, the food, everything they bring. And these are the people we trust. These are the people we've given our airports to. The same people that are now saying, for a fact, what they did with a sergeant for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, with Patrice Lumumba, with Thomas Sankara, all of our fathers. And who told you they will ever stop? No. To, to them, colonization is not something that was... It is an everyday life thing that the black man needs to fight against. Because... We know we share DNA with plants and we know we belong here. So probably because of the fact that they don't belong here, they want to take everything in this 3D and cause havoc here. But this life, earth is supposed to be enjoyed. We are spiritual beings on an earthly experience, earthly journey. So it's been a pleasure having you um, as I said, President Nana Dodankwe Kufuado, in his address to the UN, to the 78th UN General Assembly, spoke about reparations. But to the ordained Crown Prince of Ghana, reparations is making sure we remove all these people from our lands and start implementing the Pan African system, the system that has always been with the black man. But unfortunately, they will close doors in our faces. But then we will rise. We know if you close doors here, this is an illusion. We know where to start from in the spirit. And we've been creating an Africa full of grace. We've been creating an Africa full of power. We've been creating an Africa full of abundance. Abundance is our birthright as human beings. And if we, our lands, is the most fertile in the world, we are going to build 30 large scale farms across Africa. 30 million acre each. We want to build the biggest farms in Africa and we want to build 30 of them to make sure that there won't be any picture of the black man starving. It is you and I, our duties, not anybody else. If we don't make decisions and change our mindset and we keep dividing ourselves with religion, tribalism and all this bull crap, we would end up being like our fathers. But the youth of Africa... I said, I didn't come here to live in this mediocrity. And you and I, I know. The African in 2023, 27th, 27th September, is an African who is, who is, <laughs> Now, speaking about mwah, today is the birthday of one of my first girlfriends. <laughs> My cousin, Rachel. Oh, I've forgotten the surname. Rachel. My cousin, Rachel. Man, I have a picture. I'll put it there. Today is her birthday, 27th September, man. Rachel's birthday. So, Ekia Dede, much love. We are fighting for Africa. That is why you don't see us. We, we, we wake up a day at a time fighting for the unity of Africa. If you close this door, other doors will open. Now we want. Now I wrote a letter to Mr. Alan Tremontin, right? And I now realize he's standing as an independent candidate. Daddy, don't stand as an independent candidate. As a matter of fact, nobody's going to vote. We are bringing the Pan African system, right? And we will pick queens. The queen, queens. We won't let a man rule us anymore. We need the feminine energy of Africa to always make sure that 
the goodness or, or, or the prosperity of Africa is her so priority, right? So that is why Dr. Arika Nachi Umbori will be the queen of Africa and will pay homage to her. We will implement so many systems. Our parliament, you will go to parliament, but not under a flag, right? You will go there with what you've done in your community. You won't go there with any tribe. Do you understand, man? So it will be a very, very nice system that we will implement. And as I said, this is a system that is uniting the African. So we'll make sure that we don't see ourselves higher, greater than, a, than another African. We are all brothers. We are all sisters. I am an African born in, in Ghana. You may be an African born in South Africa. You may be an African born in, in Ethiopia, in Madagascar, in Burundi, in Rwanda, in, in Uganda, in Kenya, in Egypt, in Tunisia, in Algeria, in Mauritania, in Senegal, in Gambia, in Sierra Leone, in Guinea, right? Guinea Bissau. All of us are one people. Al Kebula, the birthplace of life, the birthplace of riches. Look, at, we don't need reparations. All we need is them leaving our lands, going back to their lands, and leaving us alone to implement the system that has always worked for the black man. Capitalism is leaving Africa. So anybody who is a capitalist as an African should start shedding that mindset and be a pan-Africanist. If Osage for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah was a pan-Africanist, if W.E.B. Dubois was a pan-Africanist, if Patrice Lumumba was a pan-Africanist, if Ama Atahedu was a pan-Africanist, why do you want to identify yourself differently as an African? Why do you want to be called a politician instead of a pan-Africanist? A politician will take away from Africa, but a pan-Africanist will fight for what belongs to Africa so that what belongs to Africa will stay in Africa for the benefit of the ordinary African, for the enrichment for the kings and queens of al Kebula. My name is Obonkumenkuma and I'm not Kupuku. White people pay themselves for losing slaves. But then when you talk about reparations, like how President... The president of Guyana, Muhammad Ali, spoke about, they talk, they, they, they are arrogant to even admit it. But I don't need those papers. I don't need pounds to change Africa. I don't need euros to change Africa. I need the natural resources. I need to combine this and this to create this. I need to make sure to tell my oil refinery employs around 10,000 Africans. I need to make sure that those are systems and in pan-africanism we have everything we don't need to fight for anything we don't need to divide let us build our continent and share it amongst ourselves we need hundred thousand capacity stadiums across africa i want to be watching orlando pirates versus enyimba rangers in an in a hundred thousand capacity stadium a multi-purpose stadium that the video can play he shows him a multi-purpose stadium that Shatawale, Burner Boy, Whiskey, Kim Promise, Black Sheriff, Rocky Dawuni, anybody can fill these capacity stadiums. These are the systems, Pan-African system will encourage. The black man, we will all give eight hours for Africa and use the other, right? Other 16 for something else. We have 24 hours in a day. Don't be surprised if you see the Oden Crown Prince of Ghana driving a dump truck, building Africa. Because I want to be in construction and see what is going on. So you may see me in the excavator working. Or sometimes you may see me coaching the Black Stars or the Under-17. That is the job I want to do as the Oden Crown Prince of Ghana. Under-17 coach, man. I love football and I've been a coach before. I've won a trophy before as a coach. 
and I want to try my hands with all this football knowledge, man. I love football, and I I love being a coach. I love being a football coach. I swear it. It is the job. So don't be surprised as the day crown prince of Ghana. You will see me sometimes coaching a team, right? Implementing like knowledge into the next generation is something I love doing. Wherever I may find myself, this is what I was born to do, right? And now that I know who I am, it makes it easier. Rome was not built in a day. Romano said he's in Undia. Siempre un paso a la vez, un poco a la vez, un dia a la vez. Right? A day at a time. But when the time keeps clicking, we know that our time of grace, our time of power, our time of abundance is now. There is nothing like the future, the present, and the past. It is all an illusion. We live now. Everything that we've wanted is here now. And we are here to build an Africa that will be remembered for millions of years to come. All the designs are being downloaded. So tap into the fifth dimension. As an African, I have a video on YouTube. Go and check it out. Follow the course and join me here in this consciousness and let us build Africa in under 27 years. We will open Africa for tourism purposes after 2050 when we host the World Cup. And when we host the World Cup, I want people to, to be marveled, right, with what we've done with our continent. Those who have been our friends will continue being our friends. China, of course, is a friend of Africa. Chungo, with the eye Chungo, please start building me tunnel boring machines because we need to tunnel Africa and connect Africa with railways, bullet trains, the TGV duplex, the bullet trains. I know China, they are so good with railways. So in partnership with China, you see this is something we will do to develop Africa. We are going to build a multi-purpose highway from the coast of Accra, Ghana, and it will pass the whole of Africa, man. Start, we, we, need to, we need to start building our continent, right? To look like the, the, the gods and the goddesses land, right? We want them, when they come here, they'll be marveled. We have everything here. We don't need to go and steal it somewhere. But using capitalism and, and some tactics and, and, and genocide, we don't need that. We have everything we want, we want in our land. And we'll use it. Even, even an ant. Come on, guys. Do you know even an ant, when it rains, it doesn't flood its, its dwelling place? But yet, look at us as Africans. Hey, in Ghana, when it rains year in, year out. Now, the current Accra, the current Cape Coast, we are going to build new cities and move everybody to these new cities. Of course, these new cities will have canals, we will connect all the drainages. We will make sure we cement so many places. When water falls on cement, it doesn't get dirty. So we can collect these waters and put them in these canals. These canals, we can put fishes in there. We can use hot... Come on. As a scientist, I said the things we are, will do with Africa, people will be marveled. We are the geniuses of the land. Africans, we are God and Goddess who... You, you don't know who you are. That is why you have given your power out. Everything you've ever wanted is within. Now, what is this? Okay, what is this? How, how will you call this? Right? You call it a remote control, right? But I want us to do some exercise right now. I will point it out. But say it within you without opening your mouth. Right? So what is this? So when I say what is this, mention it in you. What is this? So you may have said remote control in you, but you didn't open your mouth. So it means as a human, you can speak without opening the lips. You can hear without this ear. So we are spiritual beings before we are physical beings. And we are here to enjoy this thing, earth. And we need, we are God experiencing each other, like experiencing its creation. If you created 
a video game. Won't you want to play the video game and see how it is? So I looking at you. That is why in Rast in Rastas, right? They speak about the eye. The eye in you is the eye in me. I am. You are the same person. And we know that when I hurt you, I am hurting my own self. That is why they're wearing thieves in Africa. And we manifested abundance around us. Am I speaking to spiritual? Sometimes I need to calm down. I live in so many dimensions as the ordained crown prince of Ghana. I live in so many dimensions, my brothers. That is why I want us to raise our consciousness to the minimum, the fifth dimension. So that you, you come on this journey. We are here to create. Now, we shouldn't forget the human in us. So in Pan-Africanism, we will implement the African family back into our societies, man. We are going to love ourselves. When we used to be, we used to be in a very big family house, everybody laughing, nobody fighting because food is abundance. If nobody is hungry, do you think we will fight? But why are we not cultivating our land? Why do we have the most fertile lands in the world and yet we import food? Who is making us import this? Who is it benefiting? Capitalism. Evil system like this. We send our crude oil outside Africa for it to be refined and sold back to us because somebody is making millions in it. Because of capitalism, we are talking about climate change and nobody is stopping the oil and gas company now and saying that we have way, clean ways of doing things. Let us use solar. Africa has everything in abundance. Cleaner energy. We can power the, this planet and back with just solar from Africa. And why are we destroying the, the continent and nature? So, as I said, so many people close doors in our faces. But we know who we are and our grace, our power, our abundance is not determined by humans. And as the then Crown Prince of Ghana, the Ghanaians that went to protest, I'm sending you much love, sending you power, I'm sending you abundance. We will fix our continent and we will fix country Ghana for, it, for what it was meant to be. A sadiful Dr. Kwame Nkrumah's land. We will build a, a statue in his hometown in honor of the great man. Bigger than the Eiffel Tower. And we will put his books there for future generations to come and read about the great man. They want, to, they want us to honor there. Cecil John Rose has a scholarship in Africa. Somebody who, who read about him. He, he actually named Zimbabwe after his own self. Rhodesia. Just like King Leopold II one, took Belgium as his own personal property. These are the people that we are removing from our land. And reparations, as I said, white people paid themselves for losing slaves and gave the people that were slaves nothing. <laughs> hey, these people, you don't know. You've poked. You don't know who you have poked. And now we are rising. The, the real owners of earth, we are being born everywhere. We are coming for whatever belongs to Africa. Not a penny more, not a penny less. Choose the peace route. We don't care about you guys. That is why we, I won't take reparations as the ordained crown prince of Ghana. Because Ghana's wealth is not the papers. Unless you are telling me you are, you are giving me thousand tunnel boring machines. Right? Oh, oh, thank you so much. You did. You've done well. But don't come with papers and tell me this is repair. Give me like thousand tunnel boring machines and say, oh, this is, um, let, we, this is what we, we want to use to, to help build Africa. Because we need to build highways. I want to build a highway of 10 cars, 10 cars, and underneath it will be a subway. And we will have airports, which is private strips, close to the side and it will run across the whole of africa right let it run we will keep building we will keep building every day we will build to connect our continent al kebulan what is meant to be 
you guys you have no idea the vision is here and i've i was i've, I've contacted an architect we are designing i want that oh, come on my brothers the, the africa i see in my eyes is not what is here so stop building every construction should stop let us tackle what is important first we will clean our waters we will make sure we feed ourselves we will stop mining for some time let us let us let the earth should relax for some time let us invest our efforts in agriculture horticulture to make sure food is abundant we live a day at a time with food just food right and now when we live then we talk about our housing these are all under the pan-african system that is why Muhammad Gaddafi could build that Libya. That is why Osajifu Dr. Kwame Nkrumah could build the Ghana he was building. But we've left this, the Pan-African system, and we are chasing. We have become so white here. Everything white is good to us. But nature teaches you everything white came from black. As a scientist, I know this. And it baffles me in 2023, graduates sitting in churches every Sunday praying against the enemies when everything is energy. So if you keep talking about energy, you are trying to pro, pro, um, project that in this 3D version. Everywhere you go, you will get enemies because you are now looking for the enemies. But talk about people that will bring harmony in your life. And see the number of good people you are going to meet in this world. As a woman, stop saying all men are dogs. If you keep saying all men are dogs, nature and you will keep say, seeing and dating and marrying the dogs of this world. You are the masters of your destiny. I'm teaching you deep knowledge that sometimes this has been hidden. As the ordained crown prince of Ghana, I had it for free. And I will give it for free. Join me in the fifth dimension. Raise your vibration and consciousness to at least the fifth dimension. Most of you in Africa are living in your lowest chakras, the root chakra. We have the root chakra, the seven chakras in the human body, the root chakra, the sacral chakra, the solar plexus, right? The heart chakra, the throat chakra, the third eye chakra. Some people go as far as to talk about the ear chakra because it is a sense then you have your crown chakra right know how to raise your vibration vam ram vam ram how did i forget this lam vam ram ham yam om right call call the, the chakras your 33 vertebrae that is that is ascending to heaven. It is a metaphor. When you live in your lowest chakras, you are living in hell. Because that is where jealousy is, poverty is. Everything you don't want in life is in your lowest chakras. Raise your vibration. Start meditating. Know your mudras. Right? This is for the, the root chakra. People call it, people in India call it the Gyan Mudra. Right? Hold let me show you the fingers, right? This is water. This is air. This is space. This is air. This is fire. As above, so below. This universe, learn the universal laws, the law of polarities. Humans are made up of, whether you are a man or you are a woman, you are made up of both male and female hormones. That is the same way the masculine and the feminine energies, they combine in harmony. To do wonders, right? That is why they say if you find a good wife, you found something precious. Because that person will be your backbone. And you are going to achieve whatever dream you have as a black man. Or as a human, right? So, as above, so below. Am I going too deep? Sometimes I feel I'm going too deep. And yes, I'm conforming to say, Raise your vibrations. Raise your vibrations. So that when I talk about... Because I speak in parables a lot. I speak with so many things, so many knowledge in quantum mechanics, so many knowledge in reading the Kibalion, reading the Bible three times, reading the six and seven books of Moses, reading the book of Enoch, the Pentateuch, 
ha, the first and second Maccabees, knowing that there were books that predate the Bible. Then you go back and realize everything is Africans. Then now I compare with what my grandmother used to say. And I realize everything the old woman was teaching me was the right way. Because African spirituality is our way of life. We know that if we want money, we know there is a plant that we need to go and plug. We know that we believe in the number of numerology too. So somebody may choose the number three. Somebody may choose the number five. Because to me, the number five is very important in my life, as well as seven, right? The number five means a lot to me. So when I'm doing things, I either pick seven or five or three, right? Depending on what I'm feeling. So we knew that if I want money, I need to combine elements to create in this 3D version. That is the African spirituality. Money is not the paper you have. It is an energy that comes around you. That makes you exude power. Everywhere you go, you will attract the money. You won't chase money. You will attract it because now you know who you are. You know you are one of a kind. If my is one of a kind. My fingerprints are different from you. You may be called Abner Brewer or Sandra Abebio. Or if I say Sandra Abebio, this is a name of an actress. So, Mekane Kekeu. Now, you can see the crown prince of Ghana do be home for. Much greetings to Sandra Abebio, though. I was just mentioning random names. Um, Let me mention. Okay, let me mention names I know. Right? <laughs> Charlie, guys, it's been a pleasure having you. We spoke about reparations. And to me, you know what, what reparations mean. Leaving our land and let us implement in our systems to build our culture, our languages. Africa, we want to speak. We will teach three languages in Africa. Official languages so that we can communicate around, amongst ourselves. We've been divided so much. Ghanaians can communicate with Burkina Bays. Ghanaians can communicate with... Unless you speak Chi. But if you, you, you don't speak to you, you, you will find it very difficult in La Côte d'Ivoire, right? How did we make sure they put Ghana in the middle, put French here, French here, French here, the ocean here, so that you won't be able to communicate? They put Nigeria in the middle and put French, French, French. You guys, you see, you are not conscious, so you don't see these things. But me, every system, I see above it. Because my consciousness is above the white consciousness. I go into a consciousness 800,000 years in time. Where, no, no, now we have one more so They weren't here. So the Africa we are going to build, we are going to crown Dr. Arikana Chihombori as queen of Africa. And we are going to work eight hours a day, man. Do you know what we should do? 24 hours. We have 24 hours, right? Eight hours for working. The other eight for leisure or for learning something, right? And eight hours for sleeping. Let's give eight hours for Africa. What we do with our time now will determine who we will become in the next 20 years, in the next 30 years. Let us not spend energy doing what is not important. Let us build our continent. Let us build our continent, my brothers and sisters. My name is Obom Kume Kuman and Ano Chibedi Akupoku, the ordained crown prince of Ghana. And I'm leaving you with power, I'm leaving you with grace, and I'm leaving you with abundance. Chichicha, if you go on your knees meditating, meditation is not asking for things. Meditation is attracting your natural self. As above, so below. You are a spiritual being on an earthly journey. Your, your journey need, knows what you need than what you think you know. Detach from this 3D and be more spiritual than physical. And life will become easier. You know that everything I want is just thinking about it, writing it down, and working towards it. And I receive everything. 
We as Africans, African spirituality, I said, we know the, a leaf, a plant, that we pluck the leaf, seven of those, close it, get a, a black thread around it, <laughs> do so many things, and we attract money from anywhere. Somebody will meet you and like you so much and give you so much. So when you close doors in our faces, doors open in our faces. And as the day crown prince of Ghana, the door of grace, the door of prosperity, and the door of abundance for Africans is what we are preaching for. We are here to take whatever belongs to Africa back. Not a penny more, not a penny less. And we need, we, we won't stand for mediocrity anymore. We know who we are. We have suffered enough, but the suffering ends now. It has ended. It's been a pleasure having you on Friday. Join me. I will be joined by Mr. Fong. Mr. Yes, the half Chinese man, man. This Friday, very early, 7 a.m. We will talk about communism. We will talk about China. What China is. The real or the truth. Not that China, the CNN, and the BBC have been portrayed. We know those, we don't even respect them anymore. Nobody listens to BBC across Africa anymore. Nobody does. Because whatever they say is not the truth. People are seeing above all the systems, people are becoming conscious of who they are. In the age of Aquarius, Every lie being told will come to bear. And that is what we are seeing. The kingdom of Africa, the kingdom of Al-Kebulan is upon us. I'm leaving you with grace, power, and abundance. 